coming in at number 28 on our Locked On Senators NHL draft rankings with the same average rank as our last prospect at 31. This might be the smoothest criminal we're doing in this entire draft Ooh, criminal outside of Connor Bedard, always the asterisk. But Mikhail Gulyayev, this guy just screams offensive defenseman. Yeah, once you decide how to pronounce Mikhail Gulyayev's name, you're going to love him. And all you have to do is watch some highlights of him. And he, I, I, I like that, Ross, smooth criminal. I like it. Um, he's a left shot defenseman, five foot 10, 170 pounds. So unlike some of the other uh, Russian prospects we've covered, Ross, he doesn't have that big booming size. Like, uh, I, I feel like all the other Russians we've covered are six foot two six foot three or even more so he has to get by with some other uh attribute other than size and that's his skating i mean oh my god this guy is a breakout machine he's such a smooth skater he can duck dip dive anywhere on the ice at any dodge. given moment yeah dodge don't forget dodge um and with uh in the mhl in 22 games he had two goals 23 points or 23 assists, rather, good for 25 points. So he was over a point per game in the MHL. And I think uh, earlier I said MHL was like the AHL of the KHL. Sorry, a lot of HLs here. But it's actually more similar to junior. Yeah. VHL is like the AHL uh, league there. So, And he also spent some time in the KHL with one assist in 13 games this season. It's incredible. Like, Go watch his highlights in another yeah. tab right now as you're watching this because – like he's shifty. He's everything. He's got, a, he's got a little bit of dice Tyson Berry in him like that, like prime Tyson Berry and say what you want. Now he's just kind of a power play quarterback, but that's the type of defenseman. I see Gulyayev becoming at the next level with Omsky. You mentioned it over a point per game player. Like it, it's incredible to watch kind of the growth and development and shocker under six foot defenseman. Scott Wheeler is all over that 21st, the highest on our list. The lowest is Craig button at 41st. In, in between, we've got two at 30 with Elite Prospects and Corey Pronman. Chris Peters has him at 33. Pilsy, this guy, I, I know the Russian factor is at play in, in this draft. If he goes in the second round, this is an absolute home run swing for whatever team takes him there. It could be. It very well could be. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna slow the roll a little bit here on Gulliaya. Slow down this guy? I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to try because... Look, you watch the highlights, you see he's so smooth and he can skate, he can break the puck up the ice, yes. However, in the 10 games EP tracked, some of his worst stats were his controlled exit percentage and transition percentage, which shocked me. But then you keep watching more highlights and sometimes he's trying to do too much and the puck gets away from him and he doesn't know his next move. Like Ross, <laughs> it reminds me of, he's like a puppy out there. He's got so much energy. He's bursting with speed. He just wants to go everywhere. And he's running around. He's wide-eyed, bushy-tailed, speed, energy. But there's absolutely no organized control of what he's doing. Like, he's bursting into the offensive zone. And then he's like, oh, crap. What do I do now? And then he's in the corner. And everyone is now covered. Everyone has caught up. There's no open pass. He's at a bad angle. And he'll just take a shot from Danny Heatley's all-star spot. And that's a low percentage shot that the goalie's just going to save and cover. And, and now you kind of killed all that momentum. So the issue is he has that speed. He has that ability to break the puck up the ice, but he has a lot of work in my opinion, and EP kind of referenced the same. He has a lot of work to do in his decision-making because who cares if you get the puck in every time when you take a low percentage shot or turn it over right after. Well, I think you just need to put him in a good organization that has good coaching and be able mm -hmm. to kind of harness this power. But I would rather have a guy like this than a guy like Edward Sale that I, I've got to push to be uh, a guy who's going full full out all the time. This guy doesn't have a first or second gear. He goes one to ten right away. And it, it's sure, maybe it's not the longest history, but in the last 13 years, he's got the most productive 16-year-old season by a defenseman in the MHL's history. Like, he had 35 points in 54 games last year, playing 20 minutes, who's famously 
are relying on older players like they do. And that's from, from Wheeler's word for word there. And when you look at kind of his international play as well, and Russia hasn't been involved in the world under 18s, but the Ivan Holenka five points in five games as a 16 year old, the Holenka is under 18 as well. So defensively, it's a bit of a mess. He's going to need to go into a organization that's going to harness him and be able to like, okay, Here's the structure we want you to play in. Now go make your moves within the realm of what we do here in an, as an organization. I think he's going to need that yang beside him to his yang where, where you need yep. him to play with a guy who's responsible in his own zone. But man, he's just a fun player. Like we talk about David Edstrom being a boring player. This is the exact opposite of a, of a tight pick. If you take yep. Mikhail Gulyayev, you, you're going to be like, okay, it's high risk, high reward with this kid. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Uh, but Ross, I actually found uh, some scouts saying that just because he's a uh, small, fast, uh, point-producing defenseman, don't just assume that he's bad at defense because he uses that skating to be a good defender. Like, if you're a good skater, that's going to take away so much time and space from attackers. You're going to be able to win those loose puck battles. You're going to be able to close those gaps sooner if you're out of position or coming back, like, Let's say he does what he usually does and just bursts into the offensive zone and he is, he's in a corner and then he turns it over. Well, luckily, he's a fast skater. He's going to get back just as quick as he got got in the zone, right? So that's very um, good for a guy like him. And I just think there's so much raw talent here. Like if you're willing to be patient, to have the development, like you mentioned, uh, you can turn Guliaev into a really good player. And uh, just a little tidbit here, Ross, speaking of development and coaches, his dad, Alexander Guliaev, is actually the assistant coach of the MHL team he plays on. So I'm sure his dad has a good, uh, good handle on uh, how he's developing. Exactly. All right. Well, we'll find out in less than two weeks. Or if you're listening to this now, maybe your team just selected Mikhail Gulyayev. And if that's the case, man, run, don't walk over to, re- to watch his highlights. And you could be extremely excited at what there is potential wise down the road for Mikhail Gulyayev when he is able to come over from Russia. And you just hope that he's able to bring this enthusiasm for the game that he has. You hope he's able to bring all sorts of highlight real, real type plays to the next level when he does ultimately make the jump to North America one and to the National Hockey League second. So coming in at number 28 on our Locked On Senators NHL Draft Rankings, it's Mikhail Gulyayev. 